And believe it or not, Max is kind of sorry you wasted your time. In another life, you probably would have been a good father. But here, this terrible reality. Taking everything so I can get ready for the battle. I just don't get that chance. But I think we've been talking long enough. We both know how this has to end. Yep. So. Fuck. Okay. Let's do this. Probably gonna die again, but who gives a fuck? I'm ready. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck, run! <coughs> Fuck. Dude! How the hell can he see me? bad I'm, I'm through talking to you I'm li literally like out of my freaking way just to nothing I'm sorry but I have to do this uh-huh so here we are funny huh I don't want to talk to you. Let's, uh, end the line, Kellogg. You die, and I get my son back. You can turn around right now. Go back the way you came. Sean. Well, besides being a bit older than you were expecting, I'm afraid he's not even here. So you see, it is the end of the line. Not the way you imagined. Where is he? God damn it, you mercenary motherfucker. Where is my son? What's the cliche? So close, but yet so far away. That's Sean. But don't worry. You'll die knowing he's safe and happy. A bit older than you expected, but ah oh well. At least he's in a loving home. The Institute. The Institute? Well, I'll find him. No matter where he is, nothing will stop me. God, you're persistent. I give you credit. It's the way a father should act. The way I'd be acting if I was in your place, I like to think. Even if it is useless. But I think we've been talking long enough. Uh-huh. You know, in a hundred years, when I finally die, I only hope I go to hell. So... I Dude, seriously, I, I like I go within health and then like there's nothing there. Fuck, what the hell was that? How did I die? Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me, bro. Ah. <sighs> 
came a long way. Let's hear it. So, here we are. Funny, huh? Again. You came a long way. Let's hear it. No, I'm just through, 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 through talking, bro. I am. I really am. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck, 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 move. Dude! Killed him already. Fuck yeah. 
Over here. Good plan. Do you have to go now? Wait there. I'll stay put. Come on. Done and done. Hey. Now, let's see what I can do. Go check, Go check that, that out. out. Count on it. Go ahead. Whew. That was wow. Finally. Finally kill that motherfucker. After hard work, man. What? Nice. I'm all invisible. Yay! That's cool. I'll be saving this. This dumbass got to die. But it's taking so long, bro. Hey, go ahead. What needs doing? So, the Institute was the puppet master all along. Nick. We know where your son is, but even I don't know how to find the Institute. They built me. There has to be a way, Nick. Come on. We're in the weeds here. Time to take a step back. Bring in some fresh eyes. The only person I know willing to snoop up the Institute's tail feathers is Piper, the reporter in Diamond City. I say we head her way. Talk this through. Diamond City it is. Let's get going. I know the night just got darker, but it won't last forever. Let's go. So let's use a map to go to Diamond City. No? Okay. How do we get out now? Let's get out of here. One, get in. Going up. This elevator ride, though. Come on. We finally kill freaking Kellogg. I feel great. Dude, how far are we going up? 
Machine gun, dude. Kill it, kill it. Let me get my gun. We are the Brotherhood of Steel. Shit, I heard the Brotherhood of Steel. Nice. Doggy here or no? Let me use the map. Oh, that's good. Thank God. Fast travel. Awesome. I don't want to freaking walk on foot over there again. Thing is so long. I oh, think that I'm here. Good old Diamond City. Watch your back. Institute could be right behind you. Put the gun away. Put the gun away. No. Hey, who wants to look beautiful? Put the gun away. See that big blimp? It's the Brotherhood of Steel. Why are they here? I want to join them. Need some custom hardware? We've got a free workbench for all your modifications. Where's Piper? Clip sizes, barrels. Got too much dirt in that hair? Get it trimmed. You won't regret it. Where was Piper at? Valentine walks into my office for a change. What can I say, Piper? You, me, and hard luck all seem to run together like acid rain down an old sewer. <laughs> including your client here in that analogy? So, you two are finally letting me in on this little case of yours. What's the story? We need help. Now wait to begin. Where do you want me to start? The part where Kellogg turned out to be working for the Institute? Or the part where he told me they have Sean? The Institute. Oh boy. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night. And sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day... There's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. Read my mind. Read my mind. He had to have a way in and out. 
Yeah, but we both know he's not exactly available for a chat and coffee. Because he's in hell, where he belongs. So, a um, murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Yep. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. He wasn't gonna talk. Even if I had a way of bringing him in alive. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. Hmm. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. Good idea. I hope you're right, Nick. Let's see. I guess we're gonna need a piece of his brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so... Who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm gonna introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. I'll head out with Piper. We'll meet you there. Sounds good. You all right. stay out of trouble. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Yeah, yeah. A few more steps. And by the way, at some point, you owe me an interview. I want to hear how this whole story got started. Hmm. Let's go. Heads up. What you got for me? Let's go. Folks, I'm going to end it up here because this has been a long video. I finally get killed. Oh. This guy, Kellogg's. So let's get going. To this guy.